Right then, I hope you're doing well. What we're gonna cover this week is a flavor bomb. This is something I'm really passionate about. And the reason being is I'm trying to convert recipes to be healthier, more whole food plant-based, but also vegan and eliminate salt, oils, sugar, and, and processed ingredients as a whole. And no better way than doing this by making flavor bombs in advance. Things like syriaca and ketchup and all these sauces you buy, it's just very, very processed. It's very difficult to move away from that. So I've been inspired by the Ottolenghi Flavor Cookbook, where there's a whole section on flavor bombs. So you can see here, these are all kind of like the flavor bombs you can make in advance. But again, a lot of these have a lot of oil in. But what I have been inspired by is the Dr. Gregor's How Not To Diet Cookbook. And at the back here, you've got umami sauce, which is relatively easy. It only has seven or eight ingredients. But what I would like to do is I'd just like to expand on that. But also I do want to make it easy because I've got some very complex ingredients here that I bought, which are Japanese. I've got uh, lots of things like shiitake mushrooms and uh, seaweed and things like that, which, which add a real structure of, of that, you know, that umami savory taste. Now, yes, umami is one of those five basic tastes. It's actually created by a Japanese chemist, Hikiwani Akidia. So the word umami means umai, which is delicious, and me meaning taste. And this flavor bomb is absolutely brilliant. Just to spruce up those dishes, things like stir fries, where you can just make this in advance and then just add a little bit to whatever you're making, which is what whole food plant-based really needs. So the ingredients you need for this, a vegetable stock, which is salt-free, raw apple cider vinegar, organic tomato puree, date molasses, or you can use maple syrup, brown rice miso, a lemon, ginger, and then I'm going to use black garlic, which is a little bit different. If you don't have black garlic in, just use normal garlic. Then also I'm going to use some shiitake mushrooms, which are dried. I'm just going to soak these in the vegetable stock just to extract that real lovely flavor. And I'm also going to use some of the dashi, which is Japanese dried kelp seaweed. With the recipe from the Dr. Gregor cookbook, it doesn't use seaweed or mushrooms. And this is just something that I'm adding to add that little bit more structure and flavor. So if you don't have it, just exclude. So let's get going. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see and from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be, in the great outdoors.
can see there's a nice little glaze there. I've sterilized the jar and simply just going to sieve and filter this into the jar. And then here we have it. We have the umami demi glaze sauce. And it's absolutely perfect to transform whole food plant-based and vegan recipes. So please check out my flavor bomb recipes. Don't throw the pulp away. There's absolute mass amounts of flavor here. This would not be a demi glaze if it wasn't sieved. So really hope you enjoy the show. Please do subscribe. Lots of love and passion going into this. Also please turn on your notifications. Not many of my subscribers have them on. Just click on the bell, make sure you get all my notifications. I only bring out a video every fortnight. I hope you really enjoy everyone and have a great week. Take care, bye.